Hello. You all settled in? Right then. I will begin. My name is Alfred. Let me get you up to speed, son. Rachel, Bruce's ex, has herself a new man. Poor Bruce. I really thought they'd last the distance. I even got myself a new hat. This fella, Harvey Dent's, got himself into a right pickle. He's only gone and passed himself off as the Batman. Dent the Batman? He's having a laugh. I mean, he's a big man, but he's out of shape. For Bruce, this is a full-time job. With Harvey Dent setting himself up as Bane, it wasn't long before the Joker made himself known. Blimey, stats out in the crowd, doesn't he? Police tried to take down the Joker, but he was just too much for them. Even their fancy helmets and bulletproof vests appeared to be no match for his nurse's uniform. If he ever tries a ridiculous stunt like this again, I think Dead will plan for lower speed chases. Hang in there, my son. Batman's on his way. On. Somebody's got to put a stop to this clown. Where are you, Batman?
Carlo now. God don't know. What's Rachel thinking about this fella? Who am I to tell her? I've heard this guy can be a bit insincere. A bit... What's the expression? You know, too fit. Is that a bazooka? Go on, Master Bruce, get in there, son! Oh, Bruce, not another car! This dead character. I mean, with all due respect, he isn't a patch on Master Wayne. Underneath all that rubber and armor plate, Bruce is a very sensitive guy. Not a lot of people know that. Oh, Bruce. You are only supposed to blow the Lego doors off. Well, what you know? Gordon's alive. It's just as well, because Batman needs some help to dig the Joker out of the rubble. Although most of the plan had to be improvised, Bruce felt confident that the exact parts he needed would be found conveniently close by. Suddenly, Batman and Gordon were attacked by the Joker's goon. If only they'd had some sort of crime-fighting sidekick to help them. The Joker's voice was muffled under the rubble, but I do believe he was trying to tell Batman how he got his scarf? It's strange, because I don't remember him wearing one. As Batman continued to build, the Joker asked him, Why so serious? To which Bruce replied, I'm Batman. I'm always serious. I don't think that fully answered his question.
I remember Batman asking the Joker why he was wearing a nurse's uniform. He babbled something about fan service, which, to tell you the truth, still puzzles me somewhat. Well, that came out as well as could be expected. Gordon's made commission, Joker's in prison, and Bruce managed to save half of Rachel's boyfriend. That Joker, he was a tough nut. I have to say, of all the people in Lipstick Bruce has been up against, he was definitely the hardest. Now I've got to get back, put the tea on. Master Wayne will be starving after all that. Well, I don't know. He can defuse a thermonuclear warhead, but can't grill his own fish fingers or pick his socks up off the bedroom floor for that matter.